Hello again, welcome back. So, yesterday I landed a version of Perseverance on Duna. I do say version because I did mention in the video that I don't have the dandy little headpiece on mine. It's purely because I didn't want to just add silly rotors to it and just have it spinning around uncontrollably. It was my rover at the end of the day. It just followed the actual parameters of the Perseverance landing. So, during that video, I did mention that I was going to put out a video on how you balance a sky crane. So, how familiar does this site look to you? Yep, how familiar does that look? How do we alleviate the issue of balance on a sky crane? So, what we need to understand is, first of all, the force that is being applied here, and that is torque. We need to reduce the torque. So this is why I mentioned yesterday, and I'm going to say it again now, get this add-on called Kerbal Engineer Redux. It doesn't add too much to your game, so if you are on a low-spec PC, it shouldn't impact you too greatly. And it, the functionality that it adds is it's infinite, basically. Uh, I This was like finding Jesus to me. Uh, I'm not religious at all, but I imagine that if you, I was religious, this would be the same sort of thing. So, we're going to reduce the torque to zero, or as close to zero as we can get it. Now, how do we do that? First of all, what we need to do is understand that... When I launched there, I leaned forwards and rolled to the right. So that means there's too much thrust coming off the back and off the left. So... We can, first of all, we could either move these items around that are on the rover, but there isn't too much on the rover, to be honest. Uh, there's just a few items. I mean, I do have those items there hanging intentionally for the purpose of this video to make it do what it did there. But we could leave everything on the rover as it is and do nothing with it. All we need to do is play about with the engines. And as you can see, I have eight of them on this, so there is enough range to actually deal with this. First of all, they're all set to 100, we're going to go around and set them all down just a tad, we're going to set them all to 90. There we go, right, so they're all set to 90 now, and as you can see, it didn't really affect the torque a great deal, so we're still going to get the same issues. Now, all we have to do now is just play about with the engines, so find out what this one does, what's going to happen to the torque, just watch this here, I'll move this here, so you can see, watch the torque as I play about with this engine. As you can see, the torque's increasing again, so we're making it worse, so we'll take that back down to 90 again don't want to drop them down too far because at the end of the day you still need these engines to land so if you're getting to a point where you're down here you then the issue isn't with your engines it's with the actual craft itself so I'm just going to take a look here and again we're increasing now I knew this was going to increase because if you remember from when we took off we rolled forwards and right so these are problem engines at the moment, so what we really need to do is play about with the front, specifically the front right in this one, because it was rolling front and right. So, again, watch the torque, and it will decrease this time. See that? Okay, so we've lost about 0.13 uh, kilonewton meters from the torque. So, can we alleviate a bit more? We're still alleviating, we're still, oh, now we're going back up, you see that? So we went down a bit, but then started going back up. So, that goes to 2-1. There we go, I'll leave it at that, so we've got 0 0.2. So we've almost, we're getting to a point where we've almost halved the torque. Now what happens if we play about with that? Okay, we don't want to play about with that. How about this engine? go we're losing again we're losing 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 oh look at that 0.04 now I'm not going to launch this straight away because I know that even at 0.04 
it will still have a couple of issues. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use reaction control systems. Now, this does not mean using uh, monopropellant or liquid fuel oxidizer setups or depending on what you've got, argon, xenon, etc. This means using gyroscopes. So we're going to use the gyroscopes purely because gyroscopes, as you can see here, I can just get this menu to stay open, they create torque. So they can generate the torque to counteract the torque that your vessel is creating. So I'm just going to pop these here. Now the reason I popped these here is because that's where they were on my Perseverance rover. I did it purely for symmetry, you know, keep things balanced at all times. And also I needed this particular section at the top free because that's where it was coupled to the uh, descent pod. So let's give this one a try. And what we should find now is we should have a vertical takeoff. This also works in the exact same way if you want to design a VTOL uh, aircraft. Exact same way, you just need to always be looking out for that torque. Now, you will move forward just a little bit when you're on the runway uh, and on wheels, but as you can see, we are flying. And as you can probably hear, I am playing, I'm not actually... There we go. I'm going to drop it down there. I thought I was closer to the ground than that, but that is how you design a sky crane. Hopefully this video is going to help someone. For now, I'm Shelectra. Keep the pointy side up. Catch you next time.